What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage and we're back for another autocross day. Uh, we're heading out to Mather Field in Sacramento with the Sacramento SCCA. I'm in my 1988 BMW E30. If you guys have not checked out this car, um, I'm gonna probably like leave some links down below to, I wanna just put all the modifications that are basically done to the car. So hopefully I have the time and I'll put that all down in the bottom there. If not, then that means I was lazy. But anyways, uh, so yeah, we are heading out. This is uh, the second day of the weekend, so I have another video posted that was posted the previous probably day or two days before this. Can't wait to get out there and freaking rip. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be hot. Let's go, guys. Oh, and also, I had to check engine light for my throttle position uh, switch, basically a watch wide open throttle position switch on the throttle body. And apparently driving this car like a madman yesterday uh, fixed that because it actually happened the previous autocross and I guess it took one more autocross of a bunch of mashing on that gas to fix it. So, hey, sick. I was gonna wait until the S52 swap, but that would just go away, but whatever. Um, also guys, S52 swap coming up soon. Also, huge, huge changes for the channel. I got a, I got a sick video to edit for you guys. Like I got, oh, I just want to tell you guys, I just want to, I just need to get it out. It's, it's taking too long, but I, I'm trying to do a really sick edit and I've already filmed a lot of footage. So ooh, ooh. the channel's going to change a little bit. I mean, for the good, don't get me wrong. Nothing's happening with this car, but some stuff's changing. Let's just say that. First run, I just did coursework, which was pretty hot but it's uh, going fairly quickly so we're just gonna let this car warm up and then we'll get out there and start ripping it should be pretty damn fun uh like i said before the tires are pretty turf we got gas in it this time just a big uh that'll make a big difference yesterday we were getting a little fuel starvation so uh gas is probably gonna help but let's jump in and we'll start ripping so low 60s uh, is what we're shooting for i guess um first run of the day should be pretty fun. It is pretty hot. It got gas in the car, like I said. It should be a good ripper. See how these tires do. Like I said yesterday, they're not the best. They're like eight years old, <laughs> and they're pretty turf. But uh, hey, whatever. They uh, were picking up rocks yesterday, so I can't say they're the worst. They just need to get a bit of heat into them before they start gripping. So this first one might be a little interesting. We'll see how it goes. And if you guys don't know, S52 swap coming up, DF five speed transmission with the CAE shifter. And I have a reason why that's gonna be happening a little bit quicker. It's because, uh, well, I'm not gonna have to daily this. We're gonna send it. actually felt pretty grippy I did not really drive beyond the limits of grip which is what I was really doing yesterday um, who knows too maybe I kind of like scuffed them in a little bit yesterday I don't know got the uh, got the sticky back got that sticky layer back I don't know but anyway 62.7 um, yeah 
let's uh, keep ripping and we'll see how it goes next time. Last one was really clean guys. Um, I had a good time out there. It was fun. This time we'll send it a little bit harder and uh, yeah, see what we can do. Hopefully we can uh, gain a little bit more time. I think there's a couple spots where I can push it a little harder and keep a little bit more speed. So I was actually impressed by the grip level. It was actually pretty damn good. By the way guys, I love these new Sparco gloves. They are super good on the suede. Not too grippy. They feel great and took screen compatible so that's cool run your lap timer if need be or whatever and if you guys are wondering what the analytics are i have a video linked to it uh they're the gopro with the gopro hero 5 or hero 6 you can run all these cool gauges you're seeing so i've done a video on how to do that i'll try to link it up here I don't know if that was quicker. I think that was. I felt really good. Car had really good grip. So, yeah. Uh, go faster next time, basically. I don't know. That felt that felt great. I was pretty happy with that run. Not a lot of uh, not a lot of oversteer. All right, here we go, guys. Run number three. Flat out, flat out, flat out. Let's do it. Went a little harder. Uh, I think that's, yeah, that's about half a second faster, give or take. Uh, not bad. Felt good. Um, tried to keep the momentum up in the car a little bit because with this car, it's, you know, it's really a momentum car with uh, the lack of power. So that run felt really good. The tires are just, they are grabbing. They feel really nice. And, uh, Next run, we'll get a little bit more bounce to the wall, I guess. Guys, so today the car is feeling really, really good. Uh, even got that check engine light off, like I said before. Uh, yesterday fixed that just from banging on the throttle. Something I didn't get around to, but I didn't really feel like it was a, well, that big of an issue. It was just the wide, uh, wide open throttle connection thingamajig. I'm like, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait until we swap the car to deal with uh, those little things and the motor's going to chill in the garage or whatever so yeah i can't wait to uh, rip the course for the last run of the day should be fun
flip it quicker? That's the real question. Did I really screw up? No, I got, I don't know how I got plus six, but uh, anyways, I hit a couple cones uh, <laughs> in that last little part. But I guess third run was the fastest, so awesome. Uh, yeah, I was really happy with the car, and obviously I overcooked that last little part a little bit. But hey, you know, if I'm not making uh, people pick up tones, what's the fun, right? So anyways, guys, we will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Big stuff to come to the channel. And yeah, wrench on, guys.